welcome back to the last part of the video classification end to end series in the previous part we have seen that how we can use pytorch lightning module to create a class and how we can use torch hub to get the our cnn model which is actually efficient x3d x s model a pretrained model and a lightweight model then we can see that how we configure our optimizer load the training data and pass the training data in the form of batches to the training step where we find the where we calculate the loss and metric after that we average the loss and metric and log the information the same thing we have done with the validation data loader and we end with the validation step and validation epoch and except instead of training we are now having validation in the test phase in this test step we made some changes and instead of getting the criterion and the which is loss and the evaluation metric we get the label and the predicted value we concatenated the label and predicted value and for, and using the classification report from cycle learn we calculated we prepare a classification report after that we have used some callbacks and a model in the model we have used accelerator as gpu device Minus one, which means that take all the GPU device, which is one in my case because I have one GPU. The CN is 16 to use 16 plot. The CN it actually reduced the computational time by almost half. Accumulate gradient 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 accumulation batches, which actually are technique to speed up the trend. And here we train the model. I've trained the model for 15 epochs, and the validation result I got is actually 97%. And when I do the testing of this data set, I got around 96% accuracy. And the F1 score and recall per CN is also the same. So this is the end of this tutorial. But before ending this, let me show you another thing, which is actually tensor board. And for the tensor board, let me copy some code from TensorFlow URL or TensorFlow website. So to load the tensor board, first we have to use the load extension magic and then the tensor board. This will load the tensor board. After that, we have to, let's say, we have to give the tensor board the path where our log files are, have been saved. Actually, there are different ways to save the log file, such as we can use wait and biases, neptune.ai, but we, if we didn't define any of them, we are using by default tensor board so let's go to the folder in the folder my logs are saved in lightning log i'm going to copy this file and i'm going to pass it here this will initiate the launching of tensor board and here you can see that our training loss look like this one training metric and well metric and validation loss so this is the end of this tutorial i hope you would like it if you have any question feel free to let me know maybe in the next part i am going to use audio classification and after that both audio and video combined together stay tuned thank you